Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you our preview of the 2019 Tropical Bowl, which will take place in Daytona Beach, Florida, that features a lot of the underrated NFL and CFL draft prospects for the 2019 draft class. So let's just jump right in by taking a look at some of the players that you want to keep an eye on this upcoming week. Let's start things off with the quarterback position, and this year's Tropical Bowl has some big names involved, like the 2019 Walter Payton Award winner in Sanford's Devlin Hodges. Now, Hodges broke Steve McNair's all-time FCS passing record this year and route to the winning the Payton Award, which is the equivalent to the Heisman Trophy at the FCS level. The last time we saw Miami quarterback Malik Rozier was in the Pinstripe Bowl, and he's hoping to fare much better this week than in that bowl game against Wisconsin, as he'll be extra motivated to show up and show out this week in front of NFL scouts. And it doesn't seem that long ago that BYU's quarterback Tanner Mangum looked to be the next star QB out there in Provo, Utah. He battled through some injuries throughout his career, but the talent is still there, and he's hoping to showcase that this week in Daytona Beach. North Carolina Saints Reggie Gillespie II is coming off a very productive career with the Wolfpack and is one of the more underrated backs in this year's draft class. Wide receiver Tyree McCants out of South Florida reminds me a lot of former CFL star Nick Lewis, a bigger wide receiver that always seems to come up with the clutch catch. I'm interested to see how McCants showcases this week from a nuanced perspective. And I'm excited to see tight end Nick Weischer out of Notre Dame. He's a prospect that I would like to get a little bit more familiar with in regards to what he can bring to the table as potentially an inline guy at the next level. Aaron Montario out of Boston College was a starter at left tackle for the Eagles, and I'll be keeping an eye on what type of position flexibility or versatility he has during this week of practice. Boogie Roberts was a standout on the San Jose State Spartans defense with his ability to come off the ball. He should also be a standout here during the week of practices in one-on-ones. App State boasted one of the best defenses in the Sun Belt Conference this year, and linebacker Anthony Flory played a huge role in that happening for the Mountaineers. He was the second leading tackler on the squad and has good ability in coverage. Aaron Williams out of Nebraska should impress scouts with his versatility, having the ability to play both corner and safety, and will get a good gauge on where he can excel best this week during the practices. To check out the full rosters of the Tropical Bowl, head over to www.tropicalbowl.com. And next, we'll preview some of the small college guys to keep an eye on this upcoming week as well. Also, I will be the color analyst for this game on Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on flowfootball.tv.